and this one here I will be an Eclipse IV2 and similarly for the third battery copy this one and uh, this cube cell so let's just cube this cell that's one and the cell equilibrium potential again from definition we already have this setup B and T initial voltage losses. Uh, again, we want this one and these two. Let me copy them from here. To uh, this is basically to make sure it's like quick. That's why I'm just copy pasting instead of like typing at the same time. Here and again, this is like for third battery now, so that should be LB3. LB3. And finally, we have the concentration of the potential here. LB3, yeah, so that's uh, almost everything. So, but since we are analyzing the heat uh, losses or heat generation, right? So, make sure to create one thing. Uh, not, but before that, notice that I haven't mentioned anything about heat generation. In fact, that's exactly why we perform thermal analysis, right? So in Comstel, the best thing is like in this multi-physics area, you simply just right click it and you have this electrochemical heating. That's how, uh, where you your heat gets generated. But you don't have to worry about all the equations and stuff. You can actually study them, which equation uh, Comstel makes use of. And that this is where all those equations are, right? Nothing to be selected here. And now notice this is, we can only select like two modules uh, like battery one and heat transfer right that means for every battery we need to create a separate heat electrochemical heating module sub, sub node right so just like this lb2 again copy like duplicate basically and instead of lb2 now select lb2 so this is how you deal with heat generation in all three of them so this one refers to one this one second battery and this one is the third battery so this sets up everything you don't really have to worry about meshing for the timing you can just go with the normal meshing otherwise you can extremely fine or maybe coarse depends on how you want it and also you can also have user control mesh but for the timing for the sake of like quickness i'm just going as it is so let's just go with this uh sorry actually we need to add one last thing that's the what sort of study we are going to conduct for that you can actually define a study this one add study here select it and we're dealing with time based right so double click this one and wait for it to yeah so now you need to define the time here like what is the time that we want it to go right and let's say i want to start from zero to maybe uh 0 0.8 and but with 0 0.8 second no not at all it's let's say it's an hour like 80 percent of how, how much is that you can figure out on your own as for what would be the maybe uh this one so let's keep it uh 0 0.1 uh maybe it's better to just do it something like this it will automatically figure everything out on your own on its own so study and just compute and now the probes that we created that will help us analyze now it's just waiting basically for your whole result to be calculated the way it might be a bit problematic but it is it's like the start takes a little bit of time on my pc but the calculation actually goes quite smoothly so hopefully that should be quick hopefully
so notice that once the calculation is started these are like the two results that you selected like this temperature battery one two three so this plot two refers to the temperature right so plot three refers to your how the potential varies so that's like the maximum uh, potential here and that's how it's going down but i have a I think I made a little bit of maybe a mistake here because I was applying let me check so this is like how your results look like but again let's now notice that it is not showing you the temperature for the batteries very right so that's now and another thing is this is like just uh, three batteries like I said at the maybe somewhere at the start like this is a module and the but the module not just consists of three batteries in fact there should be three more here and maybe uh six on this side as well so for that well, how to like get those you can actually create in the data set right click this one and you need to uh, find like where is the mirror command so for in this mirror here right and uh, in which direction do you want this to be created like right now it's selected yz plane yz plane so we are going in that direction that would be in the accident to point right multiply by the battery and that would give us a mirror on that side right now we want another one on this side as well so that we have like in total 12 uh, cells so you can simply just duplicate this one and instead of study one solution one select the mirror one that you just created and now it's you want the maybe z x plane uh yeah this is that explain and here right uh um d battery multiply by zero to five because that's where our plane is so this is like the entire thing right now other than that let's say that i don't want these actually then the reason what exactly do i want i just want the batteries but i'm not seeing those batteries right so how do you get to just the batteries that would be interesting let me see so that's our contours that's the temperature that i'm looking for and if i plot this it still gives me the whole thing right but i'm not getting what i want just a second we have these batteries here the whole purpose of this was to get the batteries we have the right place nope this needs to be yeah so this is where so well you need to select this i forgot this step so how do i make this just leave this one for the time being so the thing is like this is how you do it you have to right click this one you have to select this selection because you want to specify which part of it you want right so i want the domains but which domains to be precise just the maybe batteries and connectors so for that we have this extra uh union selection tool that was just for like you can see the highlight itself so that's what i want to observe so this mirror now if we load this one we'll have yeah that's great so this is what we actually want to observe and then simply just plot it so now we have just batteries we don't have air domain this is actually pretty cool in fact far better than that whole domain thing so this is how it looks right so you can select this mirror too which is like the whole thing so this is your battery and how the heating whole heating thing works but we can actually go beyond that and change this uh, whole mm, color thing into more like a rainbow rainbow yeah now this is like this is the actual analysis right you have the graphs as well like tables that you created these probed so this is how you can observe the temperature changes and from here you can observe the voltage change but i think it's fine for the timing 
probably I gave negative current or something like that. Uh, current applied that I used. That's why it's going down maybe. But anyway, that's one thing. But temperature, that's the good news actually. Now notice that you can observe this is like circle thing, right? So that's this indi indicates the fact that during heat calculation, your whole simulation is being created as a cylindrical thing. Now, imagine that these three extra cylindrical systems or coordinate system that I created, and then I implemented those at this stage in each so, uh, solid. Let's say now I like I don't want to apply this, so I keep it to global coordinate system. What I want to do, I want to show you what this uh, the what is the difference between selecting these uh, local coordinate systems and this global thing. So now we'll do the same thing. Calculate this one, and the difference we'll have to wait for that. yeah so this is the results here right now notice that these are cylindrical elements but why do they have these temperature profiles in a straight line right so that's the difference that these whole cylindrical coordinate system that i made at this stage that's how they affect your calculations here or your uh, temperature profile if you don't select these the gradients or the temperature gradient that uh, the whole this whole uh, console treats it treats them as a straight line just like these global coordinates but when you select uh, these here in the solid part they actually treat them as circular elements so that's the difference when you uh, make these local coordinates and when you don't make them so that's it for the video i hope you love it so make sure to subscribe to my channel yeah don't forget that i mean that's the whole motivation here thank you so much for watching bye bye guys